Will Ilya Teporia successfully defend his featherweight title against Max Holloway? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. Uh, I think it's a very interesting fight. We're talking about two fighters that have seen you know, uh, Ilya comes in with a youth, uh, young fighter, uh, knows what he's doing, very aggressive as well. And then Max, um, I think he's a, I mean, fighters have seen it all, very, very um, experienced fighter. And if you think about it, uh, he has not, I mean, he's always a fighter that have never been knocked, knocked down. I'm not sure if they counted that uh, uh, against, uh, against Gagey. Um, but he's a guy that's always posed a, a, a threat. I think that Max has faced a bit of a challenge with fighters that have been shorter than him, just like you know he has. You see it with, with Volkanovski. At the same time, Ilya, perhaps facing a challenge with, with fighters that have a, a, a longer reach. So I think that that would still be a very interesting fight. But I do lean towards Max on that one. Oh, Holloway. Uh, Max Holloway, 100%. I mean, I would never root against Max Holloway. I think he gets it done. Um, I'm going to go with Max. Max is going to put hands on okay. me. I mean, he was good too. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But I'm going to say Max on that fight. Man, uh, I, Max Holloway looks unstoppable as of late, especially with that win over Gaethje uh, for the BMF. He looked amazing there. And that was a weight class up. Uh, you know, Taporia does have good boxing and he has that power, but I think Holloway has more angles and movement and he's, you know, he's probably got a better fight IQ and he's fought a lot better competition throughout his career as well. So I'm going Max Holloway. Part of me wants Ilya to win, just so it makes, me look, makes my loss look good. But uh, <clears throat> I, I think Max, I don't know, man. I was hitting Ilya with a couple of shots in the first round before I got like caught with a body shot. So I think Max, with his boxing and his movement, I think he's going to give him some problems. Um, I don't know. I'm going Max. I really do think he's going to win um, in a lot of ways. But I think Ilya is Ilya. He's got that one punch kind of you know drop you kind of shot so uh, i think max has got that good boxing maybe his defense and movement might be a little too much and then um Ilya does have good wrestling though so i don't know i think max wins though dude that's probably my favorite fight uh i'm so high on taporia right now man i study him so much trying to uh get some of my boxing like his i think he's got the he's got the most dangerous striking in uh mma probably uh well aside from Pereira. uh in the division, let's say. I'm probably going to go with uh, Taporia. I think that he it's going to be hard for Holloway to stay away from the nukes uh, that Taporia has for five rounds. But with that being said, um, I thought similar thing to uh, Justin Gaethje, you know, and he just picked him apart. So um, we'll see. You know, that's a toss up too. But uh, at a championship level, man, you never know. Uh, it's whoever shows up that night. But I think uh, it's going to be really hard for him to avoid the, the nukes that Taporia has on his hands for five rounds. Um, that's going to be a good fight. I would love to fight either one of those guys. I'd be more interested in fighting Ilya Taporia, honestly. I feel like Silasky, I have a, uh, I have a good, really good style to beat him. Uh, I have trained partners to fight just like him. I know a really good boxer who does. I think, ooh, that's a hard one. I think Max Holloway edges him. I think Max Holloway just out volumes him. Uh, Ilya Taporia. It's not that a few guys. I mean, he knocked out Vol Volkanovski, but I, I called it Volkanovski returned to fighting after getting head kick KO'd by Makachev. He didn't have a lot, enough time for his brain to recover. So I knew I knew that was going to happen. I think Max Holloway, his length and his volume would give Ilya real issues, and he, and he has a really good chin. So, you know, I, I just don't see Max Holloway getting knocked out. You know what? I, I'm going to go with my, my boy Max. He, especially the last fight, the last fight with Gaethje, he just he just showed how technical he can be and and also like solid with his defense. He 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 did a lot of damage in that fight and at the same time didn't take too much damage. And right, they, and they've said that about Max in the past that like you know he's absorbed the he has a record for most strikes absorbed or something. Um, and I, I, you know, sometimes with the older fighters, you don't see them evolve too much. But I think with Max's last performance, we, we saw a little bit of an evolution. He was able to do a lot of damage without necessarily uh, taking too much damage himself. So I'm going to go with Max. Max Holloway. Max Holloway. Uh, you know, Tepor is, you know, fantastic in his abilities. Um, but 
uh, I think he's a bit more susceptible uh, uh, to um, to getting knocked down. Maybe I mean even with the um, I can't remember that European kid who who, uh, who dropped him uh, before he ended up. Getting... Yeah, Jai Herbert. And so I think uh, Holloway has you know kind of that lengthier build too. And so um, I I could see Holloway uh, catching him before he gets caught himself. And so uh, I do think uh, Ilya is is a good uh, you know is a good change. And, um, and fighting for the title, but uh, I think uh, Holloway is the type of dude that's going to uh, be able to get it back.